Hey, good Friday morning, everybody. Chris Allen here on the Sam channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X all sponsored by ACE hardware marketplace. I was just looking at myself there in the camera and just new spectacles. I have made a spectacle of myself. What do you think? Good. Oh, I wanted something a little different. Yeah. <laughs> does does it make me look any smarter? No, no, I didn't necessarily want to look smarter. Uh, but anyway, I can see now I can see better than I had to get a new prescription. So I said, okay, I'm just going to get some new frames. There you go. Anyway, in the weather, there's not much going on. There's a lot of cloud cover out there this morning. You can see it here on the satellite view as of 637, the current time that I'm doing this podcast. Uh, let's check that to see if there's any rain around with uh, some of these uh, clouds. Let me uh, turn on the radar. We'll take a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. Hmm. I mean, there's nothing around here necessarily, but some very light rain showers as you head up into southern Indiana. Cincinnati's getting some. Eh, Louisville may get something. Most of it's back here in the Missouri and Illinois and Arkansas. This is the next wave that will come in and bring us some light rain showers starting after midnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Then we get a break. But this is not the big system. The big system is still out west, and that energy will move east and will enhance our rainfall chances as we get into Sunday night and into Monday. Unfortunately, the timing is bad, <laughs> but at least it's rain. I mean, we're going to get probably an inch or two of rainfall, more so around an inch to an inch and a half. Um, the heavier amounts of two inches is going to be back to the West of us. And, you know, right now I'm leaving out any kind of, uh, thunder or severe weather. I don't see that occurring, but you know, the last time we had severe weather a couple of weekends ago, it kind of came on quickly. It was like, no, it doesn't look severe. Then all of a sudden it took a turn like hours before it actually happened and we had those tornadoes. I'm not saying that's going to happen this time, but I've just, after that, I'm just kind of like keeping an eye on this stuff just in case. I just don't want to go in thinking, ah, eh, no, we're, we're going to be fine. I'm not going to worry about severe weather, uh, or be concerned that there may be severe weather. Um, but I am a little, you know, if we get, another piece of energy that enhances and brings up higher dew points than what I'm looking at right now. And the dew points I'm seeing are in the fifties. If we keep them there, I think we're okay, but th there may be enough wind shear. That's wind that changes direction with height. And, um, there may be enough dew point energy or dew point, I guess, threshold into the sixties that are close enough to maybe do something on Christmas day. So I, I want to leave that option open. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying it will. I'm not saying it won't. It's just kind of like, I'm going to look at this with guarded caution. Okay. That's the best way I can put it to you. All right. Here's a look at temperatures this morning. And everybody's in the upper 20s to low 30s, warmer because we have southerly winds and we have some cloud cover. Uh, let's look at the wind this morning. It is mainly, well, it looks very variable, <laughs> very variable light winds from the south, south. This is more easterly than north and northeasterly. I mean, the Winds are all over the place, so we call it variable, variable winds this morning. 
But yeah, upper 20s, low 30s, that's where everybody is starting out on this finally Friday. All right, let's take a look at the model blender. And let's take a look at temperatures. Here we go with the uh, outlook of the next 10 days, which will take us through the Christmas holiday weekend and into New Year's weekend. And you see today, 58? Yeah. I mean, we hit uh, 54 yesterday. I think we could hit 58 today. Um, The wind out of the south will make the difference. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of sun, but it's going to be a mix of sun and clouds today that may affect the temperature slightly closer to 60 tomorrow, 66, maybe 67 on Sunday. That is Christmas Eve day. And it's going to be mostly sunny on Sunday. The rain won't come in the heaviest rain will not come in until Sunday night. And then all day Monday, Christmas Day, rain and 62 to 64. But the day after is when we start going down. Cold front comes through. Actually, it comes through more on Tuesday. uh, And it's going to start to cool us down into the 50s. Then you see 40s, a good stretch of 40s below average temperature as we get into much of next week and the last two days that you see on that graphic right here you see mid 40s and mid 20s here's december 31st christmas eve and there's january 1st 2024 with this graph You can see all the way into next year. (gasps) Wow. (laughs) I know it's silly. Look at that. I can forecast in the next year what's going to happen. Well, no, duh. But it looks cooler, doesn't it? Yep. All right. Let's take a look at the map. I'll show you that for the next uh, several days. Here we go with the rain. It's going to hold off today. In the afternoon, back to the west, this is the first wave. The second stronger wave is still back to the west. So here we go. Tonight, still holding off to the west. Early tomorrow morning, then we start to see some light rain after midnight, early tomorrow morning, especially those of you that live west of Interstate 65. Then it slowly comes across tomorrow. Then into Saturday night, into Sunday, here comes the bigger wave of rain. The better energy is back with this system as it crosses into the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma. We're just going to get some light rain out of this Christmas Eve. Then it starts to come a little closer. High pressure moves east starts to weaken, that ridge starts to break down. And here comes a pretty stout system. Uh, 1,005 millibars. It is not strong. Well, it is, it's borderline strong. Uh, But strong enough to produce some heavy rainfall, maybe even some severe weather down here into Texas, Louisiana, maybe Arkansas especially, uh, whether we get some of that energy here remains to be seen, but that's why I'm cautiously optimistic, or should I say cautiously pessimistic, (laughs) uh, glass half full, half empty, you know, that we could, it's a possibility. I'm not going to leave that possibility out because when I do, it's gonna, it's gonna happen, you know? So I'm trying to be, you know, kind of, I know it sounds like I'm kind of riding the fence, but I am. It's just hard to say at this point that we're going to have the setup for something severe here in Southern Kentucky on Christmas day. But there's that small, small possibility that could change 
later today or tomorrow. If it does, of course, I will let you know here and on TV and on the radio. I'll, I'll let you know. In the meantime, get your Christmas shopping done. Get out there today. It's going to be a good day. Mix of sun and clouds and a high of 58. God bless you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.